And welcome back, welcome back. We want to welcome you to the first segment of our programming for this morning. It is a fun Friday af uh, afterwards, and so therefore we've got uh, we've got some fun going on inside Grace's kitchen. Uh, uh. Do you know we do it yeah, in this kitchen? Right? <laughs> get this thing going, man. But I tell you what, we've got something nice to bubble up for you, Chef Dwayne. This guy right here. Well, everybody know this guy too. This is actually Chef Ainsley. Chef Ainsley. Oh, and uh, we're about to choose something down that is still yeah. nice. It's back. The, season, the season actually open, and we're talking here comes. That's right. All right. That's right. Um, we should have a very good season. I check it out. The market has uh, fresh conks. They're all big size. Please Whoa. remember, remember, uh, get the nice big size. Don't go for the undersized conks. Don't go for the undersized. Please yeah. don't go for the undersized conks. Because it's trickled down, it trickled down actually right off the table. Definitely. Right? Yeah. The fisherman yeah. needs a little change for his kids and stuff like that. So And it's so funny, D, that if you, if you Yeah, you know, keep the environment healthy. Mm -hmm. But if you if you reap the, the younger conk, then how in the world will the week continue with the industry, you know? That's right. And that's so, right. And so we want for you to take heed of that once again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember that mm -hmm. not even bother will get the exactly. least small conk. Yeah. And you wanna get catch too. Yeah, you and if you get catch, you have to pay for it. it just look. If you wanna use, you have to buy more. Yeah. So um, it doesn't make sense, guys. It doesn't make sense. What they're doing now is a no-take zone. There's mm -hmm. several zones out there um, that you can't harvest the conks, which is an excellent idea, guys. Definitely. Excellent. excellent. I really I really and truly like mm -hmm. that. But guys, we've got about 15, yes, 20, 20. So what do we have Again. going on? All right. So we're going to start off with a... Uh, we're going to start off with us with our vegetable stuffings that we're going to stuff with this conks uh, that we already Are we prepared. Prepared. So how do you prepare conks though? Like, like because you know I'm a rookie when it comes to cooking and stuff like that. But at the same time, I want to impress by doing something with conks. Uh, this how do I get it dealt with? Well, you got different. You got uh, many many things that you can do with conks. For example, this is one that we're gonna try out today. It, uh, um, what I do here, uh, I just get the conks and I pong it as flat as I can. Right. Already. So what? No, what's the reason for the pong though? Why are you pong that? So. Um, two things, so you, um, it can cook faster and mm. the next one is so it's soft and you don't have to chew a lot. Okay, good then. And that's the way how I do my kong soup also. I cut, um, beat it very, very thin and then I add my kong to the end of my soup so it just simmer. And you don't, yeah. you don't beat the shell, you don't put the shell. The shell is not. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do not go for the shell. All right. That won't work for you. Good, so we beat the kong. Yeah. Thereafter now we're adding. Um, then I'm gonna season it, but I'm gonna start off with the with my vegetable stuffings first. Okay, so so everything is in stuffings. preparation. Yeah. You, get, uh, you get all your ingredients together all right. and prepare yourself. So there right. I got some butter. I'm gonna add some grease coconut oil also. Grease coconut oil! Oh, <laughs> so you're adding extra cream into yeah, this? Yeah, that's correct. But for, look, to be honest with you, while I cook one and two things, this is the first time I'm actually seeing coconut, grease coconut oil along with some butter. Yeah. I need to know the secret. <laughs> it has know. a nice texture. All right. So what I'm real nice doing creamy. here, I got some vegetables, I got some bell peppers, mm. some red peppers and some fresh carrots. All right. And also I'm going to add some um, some peas and carrots from Greece, Greece. also. But oh. what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook the, the, the fresh one first, then right. I'm going to add the dry one. The um the can one after all right because it's already cooked yeah make it easy you know yeah make Sati it, and make so. it real so easy while you're doing that John, I'll sit to season up that for me all right and get, get involved <laughs> in this cooking <laughs> all right so we need to firstly because this is great you know these are grace products so yes. what they do they make sure that they've got it covered properly right no and MSG so we need to, also that's right so this one has these no are, MSG right this is our new product mm -hmm. uh new seasoning you know about MSG, right? We talk about that. It's mm -hmm. a, the Chinese salt. You know, mm -hmm. you make I tell you, break it down easier for you. When you buy my shoes, they want to leave packet mouth, do not eat. Mm -hmm. That's MSG. That's MSG? That's MSG. Wait, wait, wait. We, we could get deeper Normally when that. you buy the shoes, there's a little white package in there. That, that's MSG? That's MSG. So why is it in the thing of shoes? Uh, it's for the, it, it, um, the moisture. It draws the moisture. Ah, so what MSG nice. does, it's dehydrate yeah. your system. So that is what it does. Right? So, uh -huh. Grace, thank you for bringing products with no MSG, right? All right. So, I put, did I put enough all-purpose seasoning yeah, in there, Grace, all-purpose? That's good. Good. Boy, so I'm getting some, there. Oh, yes. We got some mixed vegetables <laughs> mm -hmm. from Grace. Grace mixed so vegetables being added. They, they, they mix veg. I use that a lot, man. I do quiche. I do uh, mixed veg. Get mm -hmm. involved, John. Stir up this. All right. <laughs> Stir up. <laughs> so, what are you adding there? This is breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. All right, that is for the. No, we're making stuffings. the stuffings for this uh, kongs, right? 
Why? Kong has a real nice, <laughs> Kong has a nice sweetness to it. It has a nice sweetness, and that's one of the things that, uh, that people drawn to, to it, you know? Right, right. Actually, in, um, in Key West, there's a Kong's Day, Kong's Festival. Key West, um, Florida? Florida, uh-huh. There's a Kong's Festival, Kong's Queen, they go, there's a whole day just for Kong's. That's the great day for that. That's yeah. it? That's it. Party done, okay. pinata yeah. bus. So, yeah. My uh, goodness. So we got a grease jerk seasoning. This jerk is, rub. Yeah, this jerk is rub. rub. This, right, is, this is wet, right? They have We have hot and mild. Okay, so the hot is with the red label. Right. The mild is with, with the, the green, green label. Right. New Go. packaging. New packaging. I remember if you remember those long bottles. Mm -hmm. But this is a new packaging, which is excellent. I like them. It's tubby. All right. All right. So we're actually doing jerk conk. Right. Yeah. Jerkong, we don't want to add no curry, we don't want to add no um, seafood, we don't want to add no... Um, no this season has it everything in there. So let's let, let's make it clear, uh, Ainsley. Go ahead. And, 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 and mm -hmm. Chef D. If you're using the jerk from Grace, the Grace jerk, or jerk anything, you don't have to put no other seasoning. No, it's no, just no, wash no, no. your meat and that. That's correct. That's My it. Good. All right, That's it. done. Make your job easier. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So there we go. And just a little bit, just a little bit of this goes a long way. You know, you know, as you mentioned that, you remind me of the song. Just, <laughs> just a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Nothing put a little wrong. bit of that stuffing right in here for Alright, so a little bit of the stuffings inside the conk. Yeah, right. Just right. a little, yep. just a little. Just so a he little. added some uh, just a little. Yeah. This is kale. So there you go. Just this a little. is kale. Just right? a little. Alright, there you go. If you think spinach banana Tell me how good. and kalalubad, yeah. try uh -huh. kale. <laughs> kale? It's very high. But it, it, it looks to me fiber. It looks to me though, Chef D, as if that is um, leafy leaf leaf lettuce. lettuce, right? Uh -huh. It's the texture. Feel the texture of it. All right. Feel that texture. All right. The texture it's is rich, actually. Right. Is it tasty? It's it's it has an acquired taste. Um, it's a big thing right now. The uh, kale shakes. Most of it is in smoothie, like a acquired taste. Acquired indeed. taste. Actually, if you fry this, mm -hmm. it will get crispy like chips. Really? Because of it, yeah. Because of its texture. And that's what they use in those high-end restaurants. Kale, fried chips on top of something else. It is excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I taste okay. it. So, Chef Yensley, so what's next? So I got the kongs. I got it. So I'm going to do Just some of the dry rub right on top. outside. Mm -hmm. I already seasoned inside. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to season Just to give outside. it a little bite. Yeah. And what, what are we putting there? All purpose or? This one is the jerk. Jerk. That's also jerk. Jerk. So we yeah. jerk. We keep it we keep it wet and dry then. All right. That's nice. And you can see, you can see the, um, the pepper. Seed. Yeah, you can see the seed. You can see the cracked black yeah. pepper, the high end part of it. Excellent. Good. All right. Excellent. All right. All right. So the first step now is to hold the kongs in flour. Mm -hmm. So we flour here. Yeah. Then where are we going to cook this one? In another frying pan. All right. Okay, so we, so we can move off. this one? Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we go. In the and then we put this wash. one on. Do we, do we turn on the stove and please mm -hmm. hook me up, Chef D, because mm -hmm. this one, yeah. One click. One click. So you want oil in here or you want to go with the butter? Oil, oil and butter again, please. Oil and butter oil again. Oil and butter again. There we go. Well, I just love this, I swear. <laughs> Inside Grace Kitchen, where you get the action just like this. So here is our cones. Right. Don't even look like a cones, it looks like a chicken curd and Yeah. Blue. All right. So there we got so one. Butter. And for the for the stuffings, you could get creative. You know, you could you could do uh, different stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to get real creative? You put some lobster and some shrimp in yeah, there, and yeah. you got a real seafood ball. All right, Ainsley. Correct. All right. So I could add so in the uh, the some octopus. <laughs> oh, there you go. Squid, my favorite though. Yeah. Calamari. Mm -hmm. But better known as uh, calamari. Have you tried the ink? Okay. I wouldn't that's try any ink That's a whole other show we're going to get to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, uh, being that you guys are the chef and I'm the rookie, okay. I've added the butter and I've and added, of course, grease, grease coconut, coconut oil. oil. Yeah. yeah. So we're, and we're going um, mighty fine. Now, mm -hmm. these, are, these are fairly easy to, uh, to do. Everything is in preparation. Uh, these are quick, these are right. quick um, you know, right. quick things to dine on. Yeah. So we're good. We're going good. So while we're doing this, Chef D, is there anything new from Grace that you'd like to add in? Because we know for a fact that whenever you get here, there is There's something, something going new. on. Grace is always and involved, I can see. involving our new <laughs> stuff. Um, at the expo, this thing got wild. Really? This thing got wild. Roma it's Roma. Roma. Roma is back. Um, for in and then weather, yeah, you just want to curl up with a nice hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. The Christmas time is coming. Go get the Roma hot chocolate because what they do now, we bring it out in a cinnamon. 
right? Whoa, so it actually add additional flavors to right. Roma. Grace boy. Smell that. I open Damn. a pack there. These people. Man. Hmm. Cinnamon hot chocolate, guys. Wow. Get it? Wow, um, wow, wow, wow. You know how you got your mocha, your espresso, your frappuccino? Mm -hmm. We put it in the hot chocolate. Man, the aroma in this, the ends yeah. going good, I tell you. We have the, wow. the hot chocolate Smell with nice. cinnamon. Smell good. And the mocha, my favorite is the mocha. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a little expensive touch to it, that yeah. high-end touch to the mocha. Guys, get some of this for your um, hurricane basket. So I just need a hot water. That's it? That's it. Hot water. Hot water and one of the packs. And one of the packs. That's it. That's it. Um, flavorful. Flavorful. Great, great. Remember, it's a, it's a rich cocoa milk, right? Yeah. It's a uh, nice um, cocoa milk. Mm -hmm. and that's instant cocoa, instant milk, cocoa actually. milk, And then the, the chubbies, those little uh, bottles yep. over there. Remember the chubbies? We brought the chubbies in yeah, already. Boy, I 25% tell you what, less. 25% less sugar, same uh -huh, Greek tea. Right. Right here. Mm -hmm. And then the, the fusion, the energy drink. Those two black bottles right there, mm -hmm. those are energy drink. But Chef D, turbo. Turbo. you just tell me about I, this. The turbo. Chef yeah. D, today yes. is one of those days you whereby you're those, actually right? launching so many things. That's right. My goodness. Now, this is a turbo. I'd like to taste it's what It's an energy drink. Like. I had some at the expo. Man, that thing really, um, roller skates couldn't help me. Really? Okay, <laughs> that just makes you move from the place. Chef So, Chef Ainsley, how do we look? Oh, get this in there, corner. just getting this conks to get brung all around the corner. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing to cook is the conks, but they don't take long because if you notice, I beat it very thin. Yeah, you beat right. it thin. Conks take minutes to cook. Right. right, it's just like texture of a shrimp or something like that. Yeah, that don't cook seafood it doesn't take long. long. No, it doesn't take long. And, and then a, if it takes long, that means you're ruining it. All right, so me as a junior, not even a junior chef, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I won't even say that I'm a rookie. In something like this, I would want to put uh, uh, much more oil. Why not a lot of oil? You don't need to, because you just need to brown like the, outs the outside. Um, outside cook. Okay. The stuff inside is already cooked. Okay, yeah. So this all is right. almost done. All right, mm -hmm. good. Mm, 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 mm. See, so we don't even need to put, do a lot of things. It's just a little bit. Just done. a little bit, like inside the song says, right? Kitchen. Also, must um, mention to you guys about Tide Fest in Punta Gorda. Mm -hmm. so wait, 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 stop it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's break it down you, from the top. You tell me you're Let's going down to PG. I want to stop talking to you in two seconds. Yeah, man, man gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> so, All I, right. know, I know you're into the your catering. Yeah. Tell, me, tell us something, what yeah. to do with the catering. How do, and like How do we How do we get. Um, actually, I'm on Facebook and uh, Chef Ainsley and I do weddings, I do functions, I do party. Also, you can book your Christmas party, a limited space available really? still. So, mm -hmm. you can get your party going on, a cater from 25 up to uh, 300 people. So Doesn't matter. Ready. Yeah, yeah. You take care of your business. Correct, correct. Me and Chef my team. I Chef Ainsley um, on your Facebook. Yeah, that's and correct. And you have a number we could get to you to get yeah, to you at? Yeah, 600-9360 or 615-9360. Right. And also you can email me and I hook you up and set up a nice menu and start yeah. a nice party. You know, I, and I, <laughs> I love the fact that, uh, you know, that you actually put yourself out there and now you eventually, you're an established chef. You All know, right. you're, a, you're actually a celebrity chef like yeah. uh, Chef Dewey here. And, you know, things are actually hap uh, are happening for you. Yeah. What I'm upset about, though, is that you're going down to PG and I can't and the go. tide, the <laughs> tide fish fed. Tide fed. Once there are fish around, this guy is always around. Yeah, that's right? correct. Definitely, definitely. We love with seafood. All right, so I'm going to park this for a little bit. Okay. And, and then we're going to do the coconut, well, coconut cream sauce. So we're actually having a sauce. Yeah. Yes. Wow. All coconut right. Coconut cream sauce. Everything it everything is with grace. Mm -hmm. All right. Resilient make, container. Make it easy. So we gotta um, make it easy. Coconut milk. That's okay, mm -hmm. chef. Yeah. We're just about 10, uh, 10 12 minutes into this yes. segment. So this is actually fairly quick to do. Yeah. That's, so if you're planning on going on a date, you want to impress somebody, this is something nice, right? Yeah, again. Easy. Use it jerk seasoning. A little so bit. Coconut, coconut milk. Coconut milk. Grace coconut milk. That's correct. Some mm -hmm. jerk seasoning. Some jerk seasoning. Coconut milk is very thick, very rich. Mm -hmm. that, that grace coconut milk is very rich. And there's nobody out there. a little bit of flour in here, Chef, please. So, wow, so we're adding some flour to yeah, it. To, to, to so we add it. flour and. Um, to the coconut milk. Okay. You never know at all, I swear. You call it the thickener. 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 Yeah. You, you can use cornstarch, but that's right. going to use some. Flow out of the thing. Flow right. out of the thing. The thickener. Ooh, so wow. go and find that in the food dictionary. You won't find thickener. Some I fresh should, garlic I should copyright that. Some garlic. All right, smells good. 
need some garlic some powder. Some garlic powder. Malher, garlic powder, make it easy for you. Yeah. Sal de ajo. Why? I love these little <laughs> packets. No, they're they're vacuum. Yeah. So oh, okay. Remember the first one there, you get wet and done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are so these are vac vacuum, vacuum, vacuum sealed. Right? Okay, okay. All right. These are vacuum sealed. Okay. Right. Plate up time. All right. That's you, it. Your yeah. shot. You take it away. So this was fairly quick, man. This, 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 this not even a minute, Chef Insley. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> So we got the kale already washed. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna serve it on a bit of kale. I like the way that you mentioned that too because it reminds me of the song Lay You Down on a Bed of Kale. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're actually you adding now the stuffings. It. Right. Good. We already put the kongs, stuffed kongs, yeah. stuffed jerk kongs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut on. Beautiful. My goodness. See? So easy. Whoa! Look at the beauty of this. So everything already cooked. Yes. All right. So do we turn this off now? It's already getting thick. Yeah, you didn't get the man. All right. Let's turn it in. Right. Remember now, right. Kongs is not only for ceviche, you know. Get out there, work with it, try mm -hmm. it, beat it. Um, Pulverize it and yeah. saute it with some onions and, and use um look at that great stuff with it. This is like a high end, high end classy conk conk meal, no? Definitely. But, but it reminds me of a next of a next song, you know. The next the next song is actually Which when you wanna time? see what true love could be, then look at us, look at that. Uh, right. My goodness, that's beautiful, guys. Hold us later. And that's it. <laughs> show it today. <laughs> you ready, Steve? Check this fish. out, baby. Check <laughs> this out. Very my colorful. goodness. I got my fart, guys. Don't Just in about, in about 15 minutes now, uh, mm -hmm. this is what we have. This is actually a high-end meal. Kong, so what, what's the name of this? Kong stuffings with a coconut cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Kong stuffings with a coconut cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Only inside Grace's Kitchen. That's but right. you can do it because the, the, the seasoning and all these ingredients are fairly easy to get. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Kong is out there. You use it. Prepare that for the table very quick and easy. So if you've got a date, you got a birthday or mm -hmm. anniversary for your wife this is it songs, get advantage of the use that you remind me of next song you know which one is that? this is it oh <laughs> 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 all right there right we just try to promote healthy stuff no definitely that's right so that's the way it is that's the way it is so final words from greece um keep your hurricane package Plenty. going definitely keep it going corned beef excellent mm -hmm. all right and get some of this nice roma coco brand new thing on the shelf. Always new products right there at Grace. And for you, Chef Inzi? Well, just follow me on Facebook. I got my daily menu and also I got a healthy menu. Also, every day I got a chef salad with grilled chicken, grilled kongs, grilled shrimp, also grilled lobster. I do big potato, mm -hmm. cheesy potato, scallop potato. I try to do something different every day so I don't feel free to hook me up. All right, and that's of right. course we could get you on Facebook. That's correct. And of course, uh, that's at Chef Inslee, right? Yeah. Chef Inslee on Facebook. Your numbers again? Friday, 650, 9360, mm -hmm. and also at 600, 9360. Finally, the excitement for this weekend? Tide Fest. Tide Fest. That's where you'll be. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Back to work on Tuesday. Hey, that's the way it is inside also, Grace's Kitchen. I got kitchen. a nice <laughs> menu today also that you can get from me. I got a grilled shrimp today that are going on, and also I got a sweet and sour grilled chicken, and All also right. I got with some garlic roast potato. Cooking up a storm as and usual. Vegetable it's medley. Like... Every day is veg, veg, yeah. veg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the healthiness is always inside Grace's Kitchen. Always new products because that is what they do at Grace. Just when you think that something has popped up and we won't find it again, you've got it wrong. But it's always good to stick with us because we show you new menus every other week right here inside Grease's Kitchen. But when we come back for the second segment, it's going to be with some magic. Are you ready? Because we are. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 